calculate the standard EMF of a cell that uses magnesium and copper at half cell reactions. So this one I'm going to need to know uh, the reduction potentials. So I'm going to assume, uh, let me just Google this actually. Reduction potential chart. And we're given this on a test. We don't have to memorize these numbers. Okay, so we have Mg, Mg2+, plus. We have Cu, and we have Cu2+. Plus. So let's look at our reduction potentials. So let's look at copper here, or sorry, let's look at magnesium first. Let me find out what magnesium is on this table. Let's see, magnesium, can I just control F? There's a lot of, oh, there we go. So it's negative 2.37. So as you can see, this is negative 2.37, which is good. Negative 2.37 volts. We have copper here. Cu, and we have Cu, Cu2 plus here. So it's going to be this one here, 0 0.34. And as you can see, it's positive 0 0.34. So as you can see here, knowing that we have, we are given our, protect, our um, reduction potentials here, we know that the magnesium has a lower reduction potential than, a, um, than, the, than the copper here which means that uh, magnesium is going to be oxidized. So it's going to be the producing agent for the copper here. So what we can say is we can now write our half cell reactions, right? So we can say that our uh, magnesium here is the anode and then the copper here is the cathode. So my two reactions are going to be, magnesium is going to be oxidized. So I'm gonna lose some uh, some some electrons here, some minus two electrons in this case to balance out the charge, and then, um, sorry, and then copper here is going to be oxidized, right? So if Cu two plus, I'm going to pick up those electrons, and it's going to become Cu here. So as you can see, these two are going to be my half cell reactions. So it says this here is the cell half cell reactions that occur. And as you can see, these two are correct, right? So Cu2 plus plus 2E will give us our, um, this here will be the reduction. And this here would be oxidation, which is good. So what you can do now is you can write the overall reaction, right? So you can say that um, if I combine both of these guys here, I'm gonna get magnesium plus copper two plus, it's going to yield magnesium two plus, plus copper solid, this is magnesium solid. And then finally, we can now calculate the uh, standard potential, right? So we know that E naught cell is simply the cathode minus anode here. And as, as you can see, it's given like so, which is great. And as we said before, the uh, this here is the anode. And this guy here is the anode. This guy here is the cathode. Because again, the anode undergoes oxidation, right? And the cathode undergoes reduction. So therefore we have uh, the a, a cathode here, which is going to be uh, 0 0.34 volts minus minus 2.37 volts. And this will give us a value of 2.71 volts. And this is going to be the E naught cell for this uh, equation. As you can see, this solution here is correct. Good analysis. That's number seven.